I'm going to start with the Raptors. Um, this was surprisingly tough, guys. Uh, you know, right off the bat, my first thought goes to Vince Carter, right? He was kind of like the, the first true star that the Raptors had and, you know, led them at the beginning when they were just, you know, a new franchise. And Vince was, was really great, really exciting. You also had Chris Bosh who was a perennial all-star, you know, really one of the better power forwards in the game. And then he kind of sacrificed his own individual success for team success when he went and signed with Miami. You know, Bosch was a guy who was averaging like 25 a game, kind of went to Miami, reinvented himself, you know, but he didn't win in Toronto. Basically what this boils down to is Kawhi or Kyle Lowry, right? But Kawhi was only there a year, so I can't make him the greatest Raptor, even though, much like I say with Durant and LeBron, if he spends any time on your franchise, he has to be considered. So because of all that, I'm going to go with Kyle Lowry as the greatest Toronto Raptor of all time. You know, um, in addition to being like the, these nerd stats that I don't really know that well, like he's the all time leader in win shares and blah, blah, blah. But like he was <laughs> their heart and soul of their most successful era and led them to an NBA championship. So I figured he was the right pick. I think as, he is the correct pick. The, uh, had DeRozan goat. stayed and they won the championship yeah, with DeRozan, it might be DeMar DeRozan. Been DeRozan. Had they had also up there, more success know? with Vince Carter as a team, maybe then it's the the, 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 the Vince Carter, the Vince Sanity yeah. uh, years that will be immortalized on TJ's list. But and no, it is in fact to, Kyle uh, Lowry. Shout out to Stoudemire and Antonio Davis and your boy Calderon as, as well. Yes, Calderon. <laughs> <By> the, <way, laughs> the correct answer is Kawhi Leonard. He's well, the greatest Raptor ever. He, did, did they win a championship? He had the best single season if any that makes, player. And that makes you the best. So then LeBron James would be the best Miami Heat player of all time by your philosophy, well, which you the, then criticized TJ for. Yeah. Was Dwayne Wade still on that team and had yes. all the other history that went along with it? So what? Kyle Lowry was still on that team and had all the other history they that went along with it. only won the championship because of Kawhi. They only won the championship because of LeBron James. I disagree. I don't know. All, all right, yeah. let's continue I, I, on I, this I, list. I what else you got, that. TJ? Anyway, like I said, Lowry... He's the pick there. Now I'm going to go with, uh, let's see here. We'll save our teams for last. Let's go with the Nets. Okay. This was interesting, guys, because obviously, you know, the Nets, a lot of ABA success have been the two finals as an NBA franchise. You know, rich history really came down to two guys. Okay. Came down to Jason Kidd. And it came down to Julius the Dr. Irving. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Dr. J fan. I really didn't want to do this. But when you really just compare the stats and what they did, you know, Dr. J, two-time ABA champion, two-time ABA playoffs MVP, three-time ABA MVP, one of the most influential and greatest basketball players of all time. So because of that, even though we only spent three years there, that was my minimum. I have Julius Irving as the greatest player in the franchise of the new Jersey, Jersey Nets. slash Brooklyn Nets. Um, I like it. I wish the current Brooklyn Nets group would do more to honor the fact that the team existed before. Where Brooklyn at and Jay-Z songs in the Barclays. <laughs> yeah, Barclays yeah. is a nightclub with the lights turned on. Let's be honest. So I would I wish we would you know they would do more to honor the previous uh you know uh incarnation mm -hmm. of the franchise. I agree. Um, that said, you know Jason Kidd that's what, that's really what, transformed kind of the thought. culture and the energy around that team. They had he been did. in the in the bowels of the NBA for a long time and in he the led basement them to of two finals in Meadowlands and I just yeah. looked at the stats. I looked at what Dr. J meant even though it was ABA before NBA. I just what he did was so incredible, man and Hey, listen, I'm not going to knock any basketball list that has Dr. J at yeah, the top I mean, of it. It's so hard, let's go right? with Dr. J. And by the way, uh, Brooklyn Nets, free marketing idea. If you want to just take it, I don't need any credit. Carrie Kittle sock night. You only give out one sock. You save half the money. <laughs> there you All right. go. TJ, what else All right, got? so let's move over to Chris Brockman's Boston Celtics. I could go on for a long time with the <laughs> amount of great players that have played for the Celtics, obviously. But after kind of weighing everything, it basically comes Out down to two to people. Retire. Larry Bird and Bill Russell. Pretty okay. much. Now, I'm going to say this. Larry Bird is a, a basketball player. Guy. Larry Bird is a basketball player, obviously, more skilled than Bill Russell all over. But the fact that Bill Russell, 11 titles, maybe the greatest winner in all of sports. I couldn't ever go back into an NBA arena if I said that Bill Russell wasn't the greatest Boston Celtic of all time. And it was, you know, fairly easy to come to that assessment with all due respect to Larry Bird, who was incredible. 
You look at the Celtics and their all-time greats compared to the Lakers' all-time greats. Yeah, you do have more guys who sort of embody that team mentality, I think, when you look at the Celtics, as opposed to maybe the individual superstars that were the great Laker players that are become icons of the sport. Also, when I think about uh, if you were just going to compare the Lakers to the Celtics, uh, a lot of the all-time Laker greats weren't originally Lakers. They started with other teams when you talk about uh, Kareem and Will. Shaq. And Shaq. LeBron. And... Yeah, LeBron, all-time great Laker. Come on. <laughs> won, a, won a championship. Multiple all-star games. Sure. Uh, so <laughs> meanwhile, the Celtics, all their guys were homegrown. They were drafted. They were. They grew up there. They become of age there and then eventually won a championship there. So I think when you look at those two franchises, that's the, one of the major differences that sticks out for me. I'll say this also, Chris. Someone yesterday on Twitter brought up the fact that you hate LeBron and you said you didn't. But like the last couple of things you've said about LeBron, I would makes me lean to the fact that maybe you don't like LeBron. I, With I, what? I, what have I said? I think Chris I, is not a fan of this current chapter in the LeBron novel, I the re- Laker I years. I well, repeatedly say over well, and over again that he's before. the second greatest player ever. I mean, what more do you have? Uh, do but I have to say But you just got done saying that like the Heat would have won what didn't need him to win those two titles. And I maybe. love when these guys have a conversation with each other and they both look at me during the conversation <laughs> like I'm supposed to do something. Well, I mean, All you right. know. I'm Continue just, on. What else just, we got on the list? Just what else we got? I'm just pointing it out. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Now, this bubble go. title doesn't count. I'm sorry. <laughs> it does count. It does count. Let it out, Chris. <laughs> let's go Let to it the, out, Chris. Let's go to the Knickerbockers. Uh, you know, Ben, I'm, I'm going to like let you have the floor on this after I quickly make this decision. It basically came down to, after really looking at numbers in the history, came down to three guys, Willis Reed, Walt Clyde Frazier, and Patrick Ewing. And even though Ewing never won a championship, he existed in the age of Michael Jordan. So I think everyone kind of gets a pass. I got to go with Patrick Ewing as the greatest New York Knicks Really of all interesting time. choice there, TJ. Like um, I said, it, it was him, Reed, or Frazier, I thought, were were the the final three. But I went with Pat. But again, as a Knicks fan, I, I will defer and I want to hear what you have to say. Well, Patrick here. Ewing is the greatest Knicks player of my lifetime as a fan. I was in the building uh, the night they retired his jersey. I'm a, a huge Patrick Ewing fan. Uh, I think one of the most underappreciated superstars of the 90s. Um, And when you look back, though, at the the history of the New York Knicks and the two championships, Walt Clyde Frazier has been the face of the franchise since he arrived in New York in 1967, continuing to do play-by-play for the team. His stat line in Game 7 when they didn't have Willis Reed against a Lakers team led by Wilt, Jerry West, and Elgin Baylor, the fact he goes for 36-19-7-5. I mean, Walt Clyde Frazier. And then welcoming in Earl the Pearl and playing alongside Earl Monroe to get that second title. Um, I go with Walt Clyde Frazier. I didn't have the privilege of seeing him play, but I do have the honor and privilege of listening to him call games. Swishing and dishing, the Knicks in transition. Uh, It is a a real joy to watch him call games and Walt Clyde Frazier, the greatest Nick of all time. Yeah, and you know what? uh, Listening to your argument there, and like I said, it it was really those two I went with Ewing, but now after you said that, I yeah, man, I maybe should have put Clyde in. Well, now by Brockman's philosophy or his reasoning, it should be the player who achieved the highest level of basketball while while they wore the jersey. So by Brockman's rules, Jeremy Lin is the greatest Nick of all time because for a moment in time, there were two weeks when Jeremy Lin was the greatest basketball player to ever pick up a basketball. It was really ridiculous. He was on the cover of Sports Illustrated twice. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. I don't think another athlete has ever done that. Michael Jordan did it. Whatever. For kind of, besides Michael Jordan, no other athlete has ever done that. Yeah, he, I mean, Jeremy Lin did have a moment in time, didn't more he? Impressive, there were so many guys more impressive. that could have been on that Lin's list. back-to-back uh, SI titles or Johnny Vandermeer's back-to-back no-hitters. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I think Jeremy Lin's back-to-back SI covers because this is a man who was sleeping on Landry Fields' couch. Like, he wasn't even sleeping on Carmelo's, you know, sectional. This is a... A single Landry Fields leather couch. Yeah. Landry Fields was on the 10 day. He didn't even know if that was a yeah, permanent Yeah, Fry. Uh, you know, who else on that team? You had Jared Jeffries on that team. Jared Jeffries, an adult with braces. All right, so let's uh, let's Tough move squad. on to let's wrap this up with my favorite All franchise, right. the Philadelphia 76ers again. Uh, very tough. A lot of great players on, on the history of this Sixers. You know, you got Hal Greer, you know, the great Will Chamberlain played for three seasons. 
uh, Bobby Jones, Billy Cunningham, Moses Malone, Daryl Dawkins, Allen Iverson, Charles Barkley. I could go on and on. This is the only player as of right now who is pulling double duty. The greatest Philadelphia 76 of all time watches over me every show. And that's Julius the doctor Irving and again I didn't want to have to use him for the Nets but looking at yes, those stat you did. lines he's your favorite player he's of my favorite you're pl- gonna do it no but I did literally I was like I really <laughs> wanted to know I was gonna get some backlash I really wanted to do Jason Kidd but you can't ignore what the man did with the Nets so because of that the doctor I'm not apologizing for the Sixers no but I feel like the- I feel like if Iverson had gotten one then maybe you could make a case but he didn't so it's a different timeline, a, yeah. a different Gwyneth Paltrow sliding doors. But Dr. J, the greatest sixer of all time. Yeah. And unfortunately, it doesn't get talked about when we have these greatest players of all time conversations. I see him oftentimes left off people's top tens. Yeah. Uh, what he did for the game globally uh, and what he did he for the, the Philadelphia 76ers winning Magic titles King. for them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's Julius the Doctor Irving. So, you know, great list, TJ. I love it. You. Good stuff, dude.